I left Copenhagen a week ago and I am now in France living in a real renaissance chateau. Okay, I don't really live in the chateau because I live up there. Um, and the reason, I'll get back to you with that in just a second. Because first, a quick recap. I, um, I made it from Copenhagen to Hamburg. And then from Hamburg to Chateau Billabat, where I am now. It's about a couple of hours from Paris and uh, about an hour from Tours. And it all went pretty, pretty drama free. The only exception was that I had to change stations in Paris. So going from one, one end of Paris to the other side and I grabbed the metro because that was apparently the fastest route. Um, so a lot of up and down stairs and yeah, it was just it was just a little bit crazy. But I did make it eventually and now I am here. structure is actually the chateau. It's called Billabat. It dates back to um, around the 1600s. Unfortunately, it burned down and was only partly renovated until it was uh, left abandoned for 15 years. The new owners, Jeff and Oscar, moved in a few years ago with their three boys, Raymond, Leighton and James and are now working on making this chateau grand again. But they also love to entertain. Hi! Saturdays we do uh, lunch outside, naturally. That's what you do in France, right? A uh, quick note on why I'm here in the first place. It's uh, it's part of this community called Workaway. It's basically just uh, you work for food and accommodation. Okay, back to the tour. The idea is that the chateau will be where the family is living and then the rest of the grounds will be made into cute little rentals for uh, people to come visit. And uh, this one is the first one, the only one that's actually finished. It's called the barn. The barn is a two-story unit. Upstairs is the bedroom and downstairs is the living room. It's, a, it's the perfect size for a couple, maybe with one kid, for a weekend getaway.
And this is the hunting lodge. It's uh, pretty, pretty cool. When you set up the long table, invite about 15, 20 people and just uh, drink lots of wine and eat lots of food and just, you have fun. This is gonna be the two bedroom apartment that will uh, also be up for rental. It's, um, it's almost done. When it's done, it's gonna be uh, pretty magnificent, like the, like the chateau, I'm sure. Um, hopefully soon, people can move in to um, one of these two bedrooms. Might have to say the double shower is one of my favorite features. Along with this stunning original oak floor. This is gonna be the biggest of the rentals, which is gonna be a three bedroom apartment basically, or you have your own house. I think it will come with its own private pool as well, eventually. So as you can see, we're a few days out of this grand chateau to be finished. But that certainly doesn't mean that um, it's not super charming as it is already. I mean, all the animals make up for it. Apparently a week ago, there was a big storm. We took down a tree and um, the outdoor dining table. So we're gonna fix that today. And um, just like that, we're done. And um, just like that, we're done. Hello. Hello. Jolly good. <laughs> Hello. Boo, boo, boo. I poo. I poo. 
Quick recap. I made it from Copenhagen to Hamburg, and then from Hamburg to... Okay.